example so just one any of the one cerebral hemisphere there will be an epileptic foci and it is also present on the thalamus when it is present on the thalamus there will be an altered in the consciousness okay so that person will be either unconscious or there will be an altered consciousness so this is what happens in complex partial seizure third one is simple partial or complex partial seizures secondary to generalized this means here there is a partial seizure okay partial seizure which is about to become generalized okay means here suppose in this area there is an epileptic foci epileptic foci means from here and dysrhythmia abnormal rhythm of the action potential is been starting in this area okay and it was uh, from here it started affecting the entire cerebral hemisphere now it is partial seizure okay after affecting the par uh, single cerebral hemisphere it is now radiating towards the second cerebral hemisphere also so now before which was partial now it is about to become generalized so this is known as the third one the simple partial or complex partial seizures secondary to generalized okay not completely generalized but about to become generalized you people might be knowing what is generalized seizure generalized seizure means where both the cerebral hemisphere are been involved or you can say epileptic foci is present in on both the cerebral hemisphere and in partial seizure just in one cerebral hemisphere there will be an epileptic foci but when the partial seizure is about to become this generalized seizure that is the third type of partial seizure and obviously here there will be unconsciousness produced